Hi! Welcome to GetKali.com. In this video, we will discuss how you can quickly set up a Kali Pro account. The setup process has two parts, the web panel and the mobile app. Let's begin with the web panel. Log in to the web panel located on https colon slash slash app.getkali.com using a valid email and password. To start using the Kali Pro plan, you need to set up your call feedbacks, aka dispositions, and upload a calling list. As you are on the dashboard, hover over Feedbacks and click on Manage Feedbacks on the top navigation bar. Feedback in Kali is the call dispositions, which an agent can select at the end of the call. In the Kali Autodialer app, call dispositions are categorized into four main categories Lead, Connected, Not Connected, and not interested. You can create new dispositions or customize your existing dispositions by entering the heading, selecting the type, providing a description, and then clicking on submit. Once the dispositions are created, the next step is to create the calling list. Kali Pro allows you to load leads using Power Import. Using the Power Import feature, you can load as many as 100,000 records at once for distribution into the calling list. To upload a calling list, hover over the call list and click on Power Import at the top navigation bar. Please ensure the file you upload is a valid CSV, XLS, or XLSX file. Provide a list name, please ensure there are no special characters like commas or hyphens in the list name. Select the lead file you want to upload. Ensure it is a CSV, XLS or an XLSX file. Once selected click on Upload File button. As the file is uploaded, you are taken to a page where you can map the column heading in Excel with the desired fields in the Kali web panel. Kali will distribute the first 2000 records instantly while the rest are distributed over the next 15 minutes. On this page, you can map the Excel column headings with the Kali fields. Unlike Kali Personal, which only allows you to map three fields, the Kali Pro subscription allows you to map 15 more fields from your uploaded file. Three fields are mandatory for the mapping, name, phone, and notes. Map Phone Map Notes once the mapping is done, you can click on Import Data. You get a success prompt confirming that the import process has started. As the data is imported successfully, you will be able to see the calling list created in the panel. This is the same list that will be available to you in the mobile app to make calls. You can click on the list name to see details of the leads imported. On this page, you can see all the leads imported into the calling list you just created. Kali Pro Web Panel Setup is now done. You will now need to install the mobile app on your Android or iPhone to make your first call. Details of the calls you made will be updated automatically with the web panel and you can see the reporting for the calls done on this page. You can download the mobile app to make your first call. The link to download the app is available from the web panel. Let's begin the setup process in the Kali mobile app. To start, you will need to download the app from Android Play Store or iOS App Store. As you install the Kali iOS app, it will ask for permission to send notifications. Please allow the notifications to receive scheduled call reminders. Now you can log into the app with the username and password you used to create an account on the web panel. As you log in, you will be directed to the Getting Started page, which provides information about setting up the Kali web panel. Click on Start Calling Now. As you are on the dashboard and believe you have already uploaded your calling list in the web panel, you can now start calling. Click on the blue button. Click on Continue. You can see the lists you have uploaded, click on the list you want to auto-dial. As the list is loaded successfully, on your iOS phone, you can now start auto-dialing by clicking on Start Calling Now button. Kali offers different calling modes when making calls from an Android mobile phone. Standard Mode, Uninterrupted Mode, App Mode, WhatsApp Mode. 
As you are using iOS application you only have access to the standard mode. As the call is triggered you can see the details of the number being called. At this screen you can take three actions. You can cancel the call from being dialed, you can skip this number and go to the next number in the list, or if you want you can load another list. The respective phone number is called from the mobile SIM card. As the call finishes, Kali offers you a post-call screen to update your call feedback. You can update call dispositions, feedback, send SMS, send email, send WhatsApp, mark this number as a DND, schedule the call for a future date and update call notes. Once filled, you can click on the next call button to call the next number in the list. Kali will dial the next number in the list. In case you want to pause auto-dialing, you can click on cancel and the list will be paused. You can see the dashboard for the calls done, pending calls and scheduled calls.